Good afternoon all. Welcome to afternoon session of MDP RTIT 2021. Let me introduce our prominent speaker, Ms. Harsha. Ms. Harsha uh, Boy, uh, Principal SQA Engineer, BNC Software Private Limited, India. Ms. Harsha has secured Bachelor degree in Computer Science and Engineering from Amravati University in year 2002. She had worked as a lecturer in Government Polytechnic College for 5.5 years. Later, she moved to IT industry testing domain. Ms. Harsha has around 13 plus years of experience in IT industries, prominently with the BNC software company. She also worked with other well known industries too. At BNC software, she worked on different levels of testing, manual, functional regression, performance API, UI testing, and gained different rules. She is also responsible at BNC for quality of a product and delivery. She also has handled P2E, enterprise product testing planning, integration, solution testing, quality approvals, and many more. She has done few certification as a part of her career goals, such as domain specific, Oracle, Java programmer associate, Cisco CCNA, VMware VCP, other than uh, ISTQB, Six Sigma, DevOps, and AWS. Today, Ms. Harsha Ma'am will share her knowledge and experience on DevOps CICD pipeline. So over to you, Hasha ma'am. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am, for the warm welcome and very good introduction of mine. Am I audible to all? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Am, am I visible? Uh, just a second, ma'am. Uh, I am. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Just let me know when we can start. I will share my uh, screen. Uh, yes, ma'am, we can start now. Okay. Good afternoon to all. I know it's in second session in a day after lunch. It's very painful, but believe me, I will not get, uh, uh, let you bored because the session will be interactive. I want uh, what you uh, know and what we, we can have the interactive session and just like in discussion on the DevOps CICD. Let me share my screen. Hello. Can I see my, see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Yeah. Thank you. So DevOps CRCD is the today's topic. It's a very buzzing word. So just I want to introduce you all about this word. Let's have the agenda uh, 42 hours our meeting. I will start with the introduction of software engineering, SDLC, 
and evolutions and, uh, in the IT industry and how the tips come to the picture. Then I will pitch directly to the DevOps pipeline. What is mean by DevOps pipeline and how it look like in the industry. And then later, we, uh, I will just uh, go through with a couple of tools. I cannot do all the tools because it has a lots of tools available in the market. So I will start with uh, three tools for this session. These are the key tools uh, uh, in, a, in any of the DevOps pipeline. So let's start our first uh, topic, that is the in introduction. I will cover, I have mentioned that, I will cover whole the IT evolution. Then whenever the IT evolution comes, what are the challenges we are faced and how we recover from, from that. Then we will come up with the current stage and see that what's the market need, what the customer is asking for and the business is asking for. And then we will see what is mean by DevOps, DevOps concepts, whole, um, um, all the processes into the DevOps, all the things into DevOps, and then the pipeline. Software engineering. What is mean by software engineering? According to the IEEE, application of systematic, disciplined, quantifiable approach to the development, operations, and maintenance of the software, right? So we all know the software development cycle that is the planning, analysis, design, implementation, testing, maintenance, right? In all the phases, we will do some, uh, uh, some operations and then pass it to the next phase. In this software development life cycle, how the, this cycle is, uh, how it was looking earlier and how it is, we will go through that. So you know the traditional waterfall approach was what? First phase, what a requirement, gather the requirement, then do the analysis on that, then um, uh, do the design, high level design, low level design, and then actual implementation by the developers and the team and pass it to the testing. Once the, once the testing is done, then the deployment, and after the deployment, it's in maintenance, the customer defect fixing or RITs. That is the phase wise. If we have one year timeline, then believe me, early, in earlier days for the testing, it comes at the ninth or 10th month of the year. And then do the testing and the deployment after 12 years or even more than that. So earlier approach was development process was waterfall model. For these typical applications, application architecture was kind of monolithic. All the layers are tightly coupled. They are DB are very tightly coupled. We cannot segregate those. And the deployment and packaging was also in the typical physical servers. This was the era before the virtualization comes into the picture. And the typical application infrastructure was reside into the data center. Later, as it was a waterfall, lots of challenges were there in the development process, architecture, as well as the deployment and packaging. The agile methodology comes into the picture. I think in a uh, uh, morning session, uh, Mr. Rahul Chaturvedi has detailed explain about the agile methodology and agile development in this. Sorry for the title of this slide. In the Agile methodology, what is meant by Agile? Agile means whenever the requirement comes, you need to deliver. No, no, no. It's a time boxed 
iterative approach to the software delivery, which will the software incrementally instead of trying to deliver at once at the end of the uh, cycle. So in this, all the concepts you must be aware about that. I will just repeat once again. As I mentioned, Agile is time of, it has this sprint time map. Typically, it's one, one week to one month. Now it's less than one week and as well. There are some concepts like, who is the developer? Developer are whole team, all the stakeholders. Dev team, it it's not called as a developer, it's called as a dev team. All dev QA, IDD person are involved in a dev team. This team is self-organized and cross-functional. I, I mentioned that, dev, QA, and all. So once the client uh, uh, gather the gather the requirement from the client by the product owner, he is a part of the team itself, dev team, scrum team as well. Once that requirement are gathered, and then the product owner responsibility to transfer all the requirements. Uh, explain all the requirements to the, all the stakeholders and then plan for the release. And then the dev team discussed on the, and, uh, discussed on the uh, user story features and then plan for the minimum which we can deliver in the sprint. Whole sprint can be managed by Scrum Master. He is nothing but the facilitator or a coach he, uh, he managed all the activities, uh, whatever required for the sprint and the delivery. Like once the, uh, once the development is finished, uh, once uh, the feature development is finished, means all, dev, QA, IDD, automation, everything, then it needs to be demoed to the product owner. It needs to be demoed to the, uh, uh, and at the end of the sprint, it needs to be demoed to all the stakeholders which are involved, like in customer support and all. And for that, different uh, 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 different meetings are getting arranged, like in daily sprints, um, uh, uh, sprint backlog, plan, uh, then sprint planning, and etc. So all these help to deliver fast. So development process change from waterfall to agile. Now, if the new requirements come from the client, then it gets refined by the, all the stakeholders. And if it's urgent and depend on the ROI and the requirement, it's getting pushed to the same sprint or it's getting pushed to the next sprint. That is agile. Application architecture are also revised from monolithic to the tired days, like in web, app, dev, DB, kind of a three-tire architecture, or the multi-tire architecture as per the application need. So that everything can be managed at the macro level. Similarly, the deployment packaging are changed from physical server to the virtual server. Virtual servers any, it's in VMware, VMs or IBM, uh, um, uh, VMs or anything. And also, the application infrastructure. Earlier, it was resided into the data center, specific data center. Now, it can be an hosted environment. Uh, hosted environment, the example is, uh, uh, you can uh, have the Jira, or any Gmail, anything. We just, it's hosted somewhere and we just access it. What are the challenges in this now? We are in Agile. We have, um, uh, IT has re uh, uh, evolution in the virtual market. What are the challenges? Before we go through, 
I will just uh, give an example. For example, I have um, an on-prem product. On-prem means it has an install. So I have the on-prem product which is uh, which supports Linux, Windows, both operating system with the specific flavors. Windows from 2008 R2 to 2000, uh, Windows 2019. From Linux, for uh, from the Linux flavors. If RHEL 6.6 .6 .6 to current, Ubuntu 16 to 19 or 20 or 24 even, it supports the different type of data databases like in Oracle, MySQL, MSSQL, PostgreSQL, and even their versions, different versions. Oracle from 10, 12 to, to 16, MSSQL support from MSSQL, uh, MSSQL 16 to 19. And similarly for, for the Postgres as well, 10, 12. So now, for the development, it needs a lot of infra. For the development, for the testing, for the regression cycle, even for the beta testing or different type of testing. And all these infra need to be maintained. Even though they don't will be game based, virtual based, Still, it needs to be maintained. And all the servers need to be maintained. It was in first issue. Then, the second one is the scalability. We have suppose, we have tested our application from the functionality point. What about the performance? What about the load testing? If customer, nowadays, customer is asking and we have to publish into the documentation what is the baseline for each of the page to edit drive or each of the operation to edit drive under particular loop. Then this need to be tested in house in the development cycle. So that is the another issue. Then. It can be possible. It's not possible. It's it's not it's not the case. But infra come into the picture. Then how how long we can scale our how easily and how quickly we can scale our product. For example, if my product is uh, uh, for the network automation, networking devices related management system. Now. It's capable for the 1,000 devices. How can I test it for the 10,000 devices? I cannot hire the 10,000 devices. I cannot, I, I cannot create or uh, uh, buy the 10,000 devices. Then what is the case? If I, if I do it by the simulation, how it's realistic with the customer? That is another challenge. Another thing. The most important thing which every company is focusing on, that is the quality. Quality of product. And in agile methodology, we are time bound. We we need to deliver our feature as per given deadline. With maximum quality, highest quality. Quality in sense of Data, quality in sense of security, quality in sense of an all the confidence level of all the stakeholders. As we have the limited release window, if if the due to some of the unfortunate defects found in the system testing or the acceptance testing or during the performance testing or security testing at the end of the sprint or at, at the end of the uh, release, it comes and we slip the release timeline. Then uh, the consequences um, because of that. So all these things need to be handled carefully. So 
So along with these, what does the market need? Yeah, definitely. It needs the shortest deployment cycle. If we if we overcome all these things in fraud, scale, uh, scalability issues, quality of the product, all these things, and we uh, we ensure that our uh, feature is ready for release. What about the deployment at the end of at the customer end? If the pro the application needs to be deployed within the time frame. Certain applications are nowadays the solutions, not a single application customer buy. Large enterprises customers buy the suits or the solutions of that particular company. So while deploying the solution, it may take a longer time. I have seen the deployment of the solution taking two months. And for the two months, the customer need to wait. And if it's not the fresh deployment, if it's an upgrade case, what about the end users? And hence, the market need the shortest deployment cycle in that. They don't want, in, nobody want any failure in the deployment because the failure may cause the data loss. If it's an upgrade case, imagine if you are upgrading your Android and the system, the mobile crash, what the loss may come. Everything you need to install lacking. It should, if, if it happened, if it happened, once in a million thing, it should have some mechanism to roll back. And uh, definitely, I, as I mentioned, time to recover. This, all these things can be minimized by improving the communication and the collaboration. The communication and the collaboration between whom? Then, and the operation guys who are actually deploying or who are involved in the supports, professional services. Even it includes also the product owner. And in this way, customer or a user want the efficiency in all these aspects. If we overcome all the development things, what about the operations? Development team priority is faster code development, maximum functionality to deliver. Right? Then operational team's responsibility or priority is how handle the change impact? How we can minimize the uptime? And hence, the next evolution is added into the current one. Agile, multi-tier architecture, virtual servers are all there. Along with that, the concepts of DevOps in the development process. It, it, it actually improves the IT performance faster to market. It, won't, it gives you the facility to have the stable operation. Quick feedback from the customer. A minimum mean time to recovery. Overall, 
the business owners, IT department, DevOps, IDD, uh, then QA, all need to collaborate for satisfying the business need. That is the new concept in the development. Similarly, from the application point of view, the microservices, as and when we might bifurcate the architecture, multi-tire, and then in the services layer, it needs the faster delivery as well as a quick integration and maintenance. Deployment is also easy about the microservices. Then, in the deployment and packaging, we were having the virtual server. Now, it's in container package, containers. It resolves the infra challenges at some point, faster deployment at any, in, uh, uh, any stage, like containers, or environments are needed at each stage for the development, for the testing, for the regression, or the system testing, application testing, then staging environment, as well as nowadays for the production too. Because application infra can reside in the in cloud. And hence, because of this IT evolution, uh, all these needs can be satisfied, all these challenges can be overcome along with all these DevOps, microservices, architecture, containerization, and cloud. So before going to the DevOps now, what is meant by DevOps? These are the two words can are combined kind of thing. Is it in culture or is just in that job title? DevOps engineer or process manager or process handler, scrum master? Is it a team, DevOps team? Or a just set of tools? It's not, it's not any of that, but all of that. Here is few definitions of DevOps. DevOps is an IT operational delivery required to match the cadence of the IT development. Yeah. DevOps is a software engineering culture and practice that is unifying the software development and software operations. Yes. Actually, the DevOps is cultural and professional shift that emphasize on convergence, collaboration, integration between the software development and the operations operation. While doing all these automation, automation process of software de delivery and intra. What are, what is mean by the DEF and what is mean by ops? Development team include all architect, business representative who gather the requirements from the client, customer as well, product manager, program manager, project manager, quality person, QA, and all, IDD person. Then what is ops? Who are in the operation? System engineer, platform manager, system administration, network admin, DB admin, IT provider, IT operation manager, infra uh, information security team, sup uh, support guys and the professional services, all are come into the operation.
like I said, DevOps is, is a culture of collaboration between the developers and operations. Whatever we are called just before, like architect, business, representative, dev, uh, developers, quality, uh, QAs, IDD, and the system managers or network managers, net, uh, network admin, and all. It's in collaboration should be there. It's in culture. Yeah, DevOps is a revolutionary moment, but practitioner for the practitioner. Why? Because now, for anything, the focus is shifting from what to why. The questions how to innovate, how to collaborate the things for the faster delivery and the deployment of the cost. How quickly we can do and deliver the business need. How, how we can have the highest ROI from our product or particular feature. This is DevOps. What are the key drivers of Dev DevOps then? It's a culture, it's a collaboration between the developer and operations, right? How the DevOps is connected with the Agile. Yeah. The key drivers for the DevOps are nothing but Agile methodology, lean management, virtualization of cloud, and the automation. How? Agile methodology is early benefit realization, right? Quality of uh, call, uh, uh, its its speed, it gives the speed for the delivery, flexibility as we work for the agile. While lean management is the driver for the uh, uh, um, DevOps, lean management itself for reduce to rest. As the collaboration will be far, will be there in the DevOps, uh, uh, Dev and the operation, it will reduce the time waste. All are focused for the purpose, process, and people that gives by the lean manager. Then driver is the virtualization of the cloud. Yeah, faster, stand up. Scalable, resource sharing, easily. And the fourth one is the automation. Automation is uh, right, definitely. As we want the faster delivery, we need to remove the repetitive task without manual efforts. And that's why the automation comes into it. The another benefit is error uh, prone. We, we can have, we minimize the human error and focus on the quality and delivery. And hence, by the DevOps is cultural. We know the DevOps is a collaboration. DevOps, uh, for the DevOps, agile methodology is made, right? It's in collaboration. But why it is in culture? We can automate, we 